I, I'm, I'm really glad you arrived there because I was going to ask you about Pakistan because some of China's closest partners and allies, they have relied on China's money for a very long time uh, for infrastructure projects, even C, uh, CPEC in fact. Do you think that there is an awakening uh, even with Chinese allies and partners like Pakistan that eventually even we are going to face a crisis like Sri Lanka if we don't actually look into uh, double have a double look into the projects that we have actually signed up with them? I think it is it is a it is a very uh, significant uh, uh, it should be a very significant uh, time to to uh, just uh, you know uh, get up and re look at the projects re look at the kind of uh, 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 economic activity that China is involved in in various countries. With Pakistan, I'm not so sure because they are so deeply into it. You know, there, there is, especially the elites, uh, there is very little that they can do. You see, for example, um, uh, you know, from uh, Nawaz Sharif to Imran Khan now to Shehbaz Sharif, no one is actually uh, saying anything about China publicly. They are worried about it. Clearly, they, uh, the, 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 the CPEC projects are all in limbo at the moment. Uh, there is a lot of resentment, uh, you know, in, in, in parts of Pakistan uh, through which CPEC, uh, you know, this whole corridor passes, especially in Balochistan. There is a lot of dis, uh, disenchantment. Uh, local kind of local uh, people are, are very unhappy. But I think uh, yeah, for the political elites in Pakistan in particular, it's very difficult to disentangle uh, from China. And I think that's the real worry that you, know, you end up. And, and I think those who want to help Pakistan, uh, this, this, this will be the international lenders or, or the Western countries will have to ensure that that uh, Pakistan, before helping Pakistan, Pakistan's uh, 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 you know economic activities are laid out more transparently into the open so that it doesn't happen that while the money goes uh, in the name of Pakistani people, it, it enters into Chinese pockets uh, because ultimately the debt restructuring, the, the debt, debt servicing that Pakistan has to do, uh, Chinese will going to demand it. So I think there are enormous questions here that that's, uh, that countries like Pakistan should look at. I'm not so sure. I'm you know we, one is never very optimistic that Pakistan will uh, see the the way it is being uh, you know the, the challenges that they are witnessing. But I think even countries like Nepal, for example, uh, you know there are a number of issues. There is a debt crisis there brewing as well. Uh, there is Maldives, for example, that has that has been balancing now much better than in the past. Uh, but there are other countries in Africa which have to look at this very, very carefully. So I think a whole host of countries, for a whole host of countries, this is a this is a wake-up call. And I think it's also a wake-up call for China. It is also a wake-up call for, for other countries that want to help these countries uh, in trouble uh, because you really have to ensure that the help that you are giving uh, is not really going into China. You know, that uh, that the, 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 the tra trajectory of the resource allocation is not that you try to help the people. Uh, and there the elite siphon this money to China. So I think that that can become a potential problem because Chinese will demand it. But I think international community as a whole should uh, should ask China uh, and, and for, for greater responsibility, for greater role, and to uh, you know to to come to the aid of of these countries, especially when China is such a big uh, beneficiary when the going is good in these countries. And do you think this crisis actually can bring New Delhi and Sri Lanka closer? Because just a couple of years ago with the Rajapaksas in power, uh, again, things were moving towards uh, the Chinese uh, favor. But today things are different slightly. Uh, isn't it? Yes, I think I think um, for many ordinary Sri Lankans, uh, this is certainly a very uh, important time, uh, you know, because they have seen uh, India uh, without asking any questions coming to the aid of Sri Lankans the way it has. And just in the last six months, the way India has helped uh, like a responsible neighbor uh, is quite, I think, uh, should be an eye opener that, look, India and Sri Lanka may have problems, but they are problems, you know, where, where the two countries that understand each other also have some differences and those differences can be managed. But India is not trying to, uh, you know, extract resources from Sri Lanka for anything. If anything, India would like Sri Lanka to prosper as an economy because that benefits India. 